A lot of the racism is because people see what's in the media and they make assumptions. If we're ever going to change that, our children need to be aware of how they can challenge bias when they come across it. Now in 1965, Aboriginal people weren't allowed to go into the swimming pool and have a swim um, because of their colour, because of their race. If we're specifically talking about racism with Aboriginal students, you know, we know that that can affect their health and wellbeing to the point that they're not going to go to school, they're not going to have education you know, or, or perhaps get a little bit behind in it and sometimes it can be hard to catch up. Well, you want harmony and you don't want young people hurt because of racism, taunts or bullying through racism. It's teaching respect for all human beings. The roles that early learning services can play in addressing racism is really, I think, about educating not just the children, but the families in the service as well. So making that learning visible, making our program accessible to our families so they understand that process. I think racism is just like just a bad thing even from like a kindergarten age you need to learn to respect everyone and like like not to have these biases against people yeah i don't think it should be tolerated in a school at all i think that if someone is experiencing racism they will feel uncomfortable in class and that'll really affect their learning and to put someone down because of their race is just very unacceptable all of our practice here is being open, honest and respectful with children at all times and try and bring it down to a way that they may understand. There's a lot of studies out there that indicate that really by the age of four and five, if you haven't really nipped it in the bud and dealt with racist attitudes by then, then you've really got a, an even harder job in primary school. So that's why it's probably more critical than ever. But in a right way that's supportive, that's developmentally appropriate and respectful to the child as well. One of the many strengths of this school is its absolute zero tolerance approach to racism and any type of bullying, any type of discrimination is absolutely frowned upon, absolutely dealt with quickly. The school takes a prevention is better than cure approach. We have a really important obligation to really support our children to grow and do well academically, but also to really grow emotionally and socially too. You know, the attitudes that we teach them about tolerance, respect, really making a commitment to live these attitudes is really the foundation. And the main way to counteract racism is through relationships. Children, when they leave this service, won't necessarily remember the books that they read or the songs that they sung, but they'll remember the teachers and the elders and the aunties that came and spent time with them. And it's those relationships that when they come across negative stereotypes of Aboriginal people, they have something else to draw upon other than what they've seen in the media. Oh, 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 oh,